Well, hello everybody and welcome. Uh, my name is Declan Kennedy and I'd like to bring you through the BSc in Science Education program that we have here in University College Cork. Now, we're running this course since the year 2000. It's fully accredited by the Teaching Council and because it's an all-in teaching qualification where you do the science and the education side by side, it's known as the concurrent model of teacher training. As I say, it's total four years fully qualified. There is an alternative route called the consecutive model. That is where you take a BSc degree four years, followed by a two-year PME, Professional Masters of Education course. That takes six years. Now, the Department of Education here in UCC has been training science teachers for well over a hundred years. So we have a lot of experience in the area. Uh, just to mention, if you choose the alternative model, now I'm not here to talk about the PME, but I just want to alert you to the fact that if you take the PME course, it involves paying fees which currently stand at around 11,000. The places on the PME are allocated by the Postgraduate Admission Centre PAC in Galway, so I have no control over who gets a place on the PME. And I found in recent years that the BSc Ed route is more popular route than the BSc plus the PME route because of the fact that you become a qualified teacher in four years with the BSc, Ed, the BSc in Science Education, whereas the BSc plus PME route takes six years. Also, once you pass your examination in first year in UCC, we can guarantee you a place on the BSc Ed. I have no control at all over the allocation of places on the PME, since that's done by PAC. Generally speaking, the job situation is good for science teachers. As you can see from budget there in 2018, 1,300 extra teachers. We have a growing population and all children need to be taught. Uh, we have seen in recent months concern expressed about the fact that we're not producing enough teachers, particularly in areas like science. So the situation is quite good for people who would like a career as a science teacher. The BSc Ed has international recognition. Most of our graduates will end up teaching in Ireland, but some who wish to travel have gone as far afield as uh, Australia, and New Zealand, England, United States, Canada, and so on. The situation uh, for science teachers, as I mentioned, is very good, and you get great help from the UCC Careers Service who organise recruitment fairs. So for example, all of my fourth year BSc Ed students have already got job offers through this teacher recruitment fair. The course here in UCC was updated in 2012 because of new regulations in the Teaching Council. And basically, if you want to take the BSc in Science Education, 50% of your time is spent studying science itself, the pure science. 25% will be spent studying education and 25% of your time will be spent out in schools on teaching placement. So that is in order to satisfy the regulations of the teaching council. There are basically two main requirements of the teaching council. The first is that you must have accumulated 60 credits. Everything in university is divided into blocks of workload called credits. And the second thing that you must have is you must have 10 credits in each of physics, chemistry and biology to be qualified to teach junior certificate science. Now, the BSc in science education is a ready-made package. So once you qualify with a BSc in Science Education, all of these criteria are fulfilled because the BSc 
in science education, as I mentioned earlier, is fully accredited by the Teaching Council. So how do you enter the BSc in science education? Well, the first year of the course is a common first year entry. That is, you apply through one of those four entry routes via the CAO. CK402, CK404, CK406 or CK408. In first year, you study all science modules, no education modules are studied. And you study physics, chemistry and biology, 10 credits in each of them. After you finish first year, it is only then that you enter the BSc in science education. So it gives you a chance to settle into college, try a range of science subjects, gives you a chance to think about a career in science teaching. And depending on the route that you come in, you can see there we have four routes. Depending on which of those four routes you come in, you pick the particular specialist route that you like yourself in the second year. So in second year, you register in September of second year, you follow one of those three routes, you study 30 credits of science and 30 credits of education. So half your time is spent on science and half your time is spent on education. In the education area, you come to me for a module in science education, a course, a module is just another word for a short course and you also spend some time teaching in local schools. You go out into a local school for 10 weeks, you teach three lessons a week, usually three 40 minute lessons, and you spend about an hour working with your school mentor. You are not on your own when you go out into science teaching in schools. In teaching placement, there will be a fully qualified science teacher there with you, helping you along during your 10 weeks and giving you advice. The way the course is structured is a bit like a spiral. That is, we integrate the education and the science together. So you do the two science by side, side by side. Uh, in other words, we're sort of bridging the theory of education with the practice of education. Then in third year, you continue on in your specialist route, physics or chemistry or biology. You do another 30 credits in your specialist subject. You take another module in science education with me and you again go out on school placement. The school placement takes place in the second term in local schools, again, two weeks, three classes per week. So almost a mirror image of second year. Sometimes the students at placement bring their own pupils in to show them around the labs that we have here in UCC, which are purpose built for training science teachers. When you've completed third year, you then go into fourth year. And in fourth year, all of the modules are education modules. In other words, you're finished with science at this stage and you're now concentrating on education. And you do, again, science education, as you would expect, but you do other interesting areas. I remember when I was training myself, to, in, in training myself to be a science teacher, uh, I found subjects like the psychology of education very interesting. You know, we learn how young people think. We learn about the difficulties they have in understanding science. We learn about the sociology of education, how people's backgrounds can affect their performance in the classroom. So it's a very interesting type of course, and you can see there it's quite a, a, a variety of different modules. In fourth year, you also are on school placement but you do a lot more school placement this time. You'll be teaching six class periods per week. Sometimes you may be getting more teaching periods if teachers are out sick or whatever, but generally it's six class periods. You're in schools Monday, all day Monday, 
you're in school on a Tuesday morning, you're in for lectures Tuesday afternoon, you're in UCC all day Wednesday, you're in schools on Thursday morning, you're in UCC Thursday afternoon, and you're in schools all day Friday. So in fourth year, you get tremendous experience of what it's like to teach in a school because you're now almost a fully qualified science teacher. These are some of our fourth years and some PME students here uh, before their final presentations uh, and also some of our part-time staff. Now among those we also have what are called direct entry students. Now these are students who have at least uh, level 7, that is a past degree, and they can come directly into torture if they have a degree in physics or chemistry or biology or agricultural science or computer studies. And if they come into torture, they, in torture, they are studying all education modules. They do the education modules done by the second years and the education modules done by the third years and they enter fourth year. And again, as normal, when they graduate, they're fully qualified. So they get their BSc in science education degree within two years. Uh, the lectures on, in, for third years are all timetabled on a Wednesday evening. So that suits people who may have to travel uh, long distances, as indeed many of our direct entry students do. The facilities we have for training science teachers in UCC are the best in the country. In fact, we are the only university that has purpose-built laboratories for training science teachers. We, we modelled it on the training that they do at the University of York. And up there on, on the left, uh, the, the man wearing the brown coat was one of our former external examiners, Professor David Waddington. From York. Uh, we have monthly meetings here in the Eureka Centre in UCC for the local science teachers and this is an ideal opportunity for our students to share the projects that they've worked on and to meet lots of other science teachers and it's an ideal opportunity for them to learn about jobs coming up in schools. As you can see there, we do a lot of practical work with our student teachers because we have such excellent laboratory facilities which are fully equipped to teach Leaving Cert, all the Leaving Cert science subjects. Uh, we, we have all the equipment here in our Eureka Labs. We also have a resource centre where all the textbooks are stored and we have photocopying facilities available for the students and it go in there and use it as a study centre also. We put a lot of emphasis on modern technology. So here we have some students measuring the pH of the solution using their mobile phones and a data logging sensor. We are the only institution in Ireland which has international recognition as a centre of excellence for training science teachers. And we received this international recognition for ICASE, from, from ICASE. ICASE is the International Council of Associations for Science Education. And as you can see there from the writing on the plaque, we have received the five star stamp of approval from ICASE. And we proudly display this plaque on the wall of the Eureka Centre. You may be wondering, you know, am I suited to science teaching? Well, the sort of questions you need to ask yourself are, do you enjoy working with people? You know, do you work well as part of a team? I myself studied here in University College Cork, and I came to study in UCC, not to become a scientist, but to become a science teacher because I would much prefer to be dealing with people and helping young people to study science rather than, say, working in a laboratory all my life. 
So if you enjoy explaining things to people, working with young people, enjoy taking young people on various extracurricular activities like school tours or visits to local industries or young scientist exhibitions or whatever, then if you find you would like that, then think carefully about science teaching. Teaching a second science subject. Obviously, if you come here and do a BSc, you can't do an honours BSc in two subjects. So if you come here for six years and do the degree plus the PME, uh, you will graduate with an honours degree in one subject. And that is the subject that you will be qualified to teach. Similarly, with the BSc in science education in four years, you will be qualified to teach one subject. But of course, once you go into school, you could be put teaching anything. So for example, you might have a degree in chemistry and be interested in also teaching biology. So you could do lots of courses to bring your biology up to speed, for example, or you could go and do a master's in science education and take extra modules in biology if you wanted to. And a lot of teachers have done that uh, I supervise something like 150 science teachers who have taken a master's degree in science education here in UCC. So there are various alternatives. The most important thing is to get on the Teaching Council register. Once you're on the Teaching Council register, you can be put teaching anything. And before I came to teach in UCC, I taught as a secondary school teacher myself. And even though my own specialist area was in chemistry, I also taught leaving certain physics, leaving certain maths, and leaving certain applied mathematics. I taught those same subjects in fifth year, as well as religion, because I was very interested in teaching religion and did lots of courses in the area. So you have to be flexible when you go into schools. And in your training here in UCC, we do Leaving Cert Physics, Chemistry and Biology experiments for everybody. Also, everybody does an electronics course in collaboration with Cock Institute of Technology. So when you come out of UCC, you will have no difficulty stepping into a school, rolling up your sleeves and teaching whatever the school principal asks you to teach. Uh, when you come into first year, once you pass first year, as I said already, you will automatically get a place in second year. And you will get an email then from the CEPS office, that's the College of Science, Engineering and Food Science, around Easter. And you'll be asked to fill in a form. And then I'll call a meeting with you and uh, I'll arrange teaching placement. And everybody has to undergo guard vetting. As you're probably aware, uh, schools generally don't hire criminals to teach their pupils. So everybody who goes out into schools to teach, including myself, is guard fitted. And it's a great thing to have on your CV, especially for summer jobs, to say you're now guard fitted that you have a, a clean slate uh, regarding any uh, criminal activity. Uh, as well as training science teachers here in UCC, we also get involved in various projects. Like This was the team of teachers, now local teachers, who were involved in the Profiles project. It was a big EU uh, project that we were involved in. There's a summary brochure about the course available to you. It's on the School of Education website in UCC. Uh, you can download it or if you send me an email i email it back to you the key points about the course are also available in the ucc prospectus which is online on the ucc website uh, these are some of our fourth year bsc ed students uh, this was taken when uh, mary kennedy and the nationwide film crew came to do some filming around UCC and you can see some of our Eureka Lab there, uh, one of our Eureka Labs there in the background. Uh, we also have a frequently asked questions document on the website 
and this contains the answers to every question that I have ever been asked about the BSc in Science Education. So if you're going to the School of Education, you can download that and or just send me an email and I'll send it to you. It lists out all the websites that you can download information from and it gives the answer to every single question that I've been asked. So uh, you will find that, I think, quite useful. So I'm always delighted to hear from students who are interested in becoming a science teacher. Always feel free to send me an email and I'll get back to you with the details. Or if you need to talk to me, my mobile phone number is on my voicemail. If when you ring my uh, office, there's no reply, uh, a voicemail will come on and will give you my mobile phone number, uh, enabling you to contact me if, if you wish. So all that remains for me to say is to thank you for your kind attention and I wish you every success in your studies.